Welcome back to Mango Plays Graveyard Keeper oh, with the Game of Thrones DLC. And yes, let's check out um, what I've done in between episodes. I've mainly been farming around the area for stone. Um, that's about it, really. Got stone, got some wood wedges going, but that is kind of all. I've only buried one corpse, which I think I did on camera. To be fair but i was working on this um when i went to sleep last just to get some more blue points because they are massively important oh yes fantastic oh wow <laughs> pretty much asleep there or need to sleep should i say so we now we still have access um did i do this on camera i'm not sure uh, but we have access to the um, area there. And do I have any food on me? Oh, yes. Let's replace that. And let's get some energy down. Oh, there we go. And get this cleared as well, just so we can get around. Now, I was mainly working on getting enough red points for technology. And let's see, what technology was it that I wanted? to do with this and it was over this way oh i have enough fantastic it is the wooden beam circular saw so let's grab that thank you very much um and i also do need to get one other thing smithing i need the advanced oh no i need a hundred red points for this anvil Oh no, I do have the anvil. There we go. Right. So let's uh, get that sorted. How much do I need? Brilliant. So let's remove the old anvil because honestly, you don't need both at all. Um, so let's get that gone and then we'll get the new anvil in and we'll get the items we need to increase our yard space because we're going to need it. Right. Anvil. There we go. Bab. Oh, look, it's ready immediately. And we want. Well, we're going to want at least two crafts of this. So let's get two of these. Oh, please say I have enough energy. Please, please, please. No. <laughs> oh, well, let's get a little bit of a kip in. And there we go. Fabulous. Oh, dear more iron love it and there we go finished that craft so let's see how um expensive increasing the yard space is so oh we need 10 okay that's fine and four nails four nails will not be a problem so let's do eight nails apparently and we need 10 of these so six more fabulous all right, let's get this um, increased space done. Oh, look at that. This is amazing. So we have oodles more space now. And in particular, I want space for the circular saw, which I think I am going to need more complex iron parts. <laughs> okay, let's get another um, eight of those made. Won't be a problem. I see this. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, getting some food would be mighty useful, I think, um, soon. Oh, all right, let's um, head in here. Get another kip in. So we're kind of waiting for Envy Day, which is this uh, green one just here, for Snake to open up what I say is probably the most awesome part of the game. <laughs> my <laughs> little bit, if you've watched my previous series, you know how obsessed I am with a certain aspect of this game. And I can't wait to open it up. Right, there we go. Have the items to make the circular saw. And I can't remember if I don't need this anymore, but for the moment, we're just going to pop it there. That looks good to me. And here we go beams are going to be nice and easy to make now yeah i can get rid of 
this bench, I think. Oh, hang on. Probably not, actually. Because, yeah, how would you make wooden repair kits? Uh, and iron chisels. I guess we need to leave that one in place. But, wooden beams. Oh, let's um, make one more of these. Oh, the probably going to need some more nails as well and let's get this done there we go oh lovely of course we're going to take another kip as soon as we wake up we're actually going to maybe pretty sure it'll tick over in a sec I'm so refreshed. Fabulous. Alright, let's grab some items from in here we will probably need. Uh, yeah, okay, let's grab those. These, I don't know if we need them. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Grab that. And down we go. So, over here, this is what I need the beams for. And... Okay, that is easy enough to get sorted. Basically, my goal for today is, oh, hello, to talk to this man and also to clear all of the um, obstructions for the tunnels because that will just make my life so much easier to be able to get backwards and forwards easily. So, yeah, hello. Hello. Hold still. Hello. Who are you? I'm the graveyard keeper and prior of this church. Mind your business, I have a dagger and I'll gladly use it. Okay. So, if we had um, faith, we'll be able to convince him. If we tried to frighten him, he just, you may have a dagger, but I have a sword. Okay, but you should know, I fight like a beast to the death. Ah, I'm ready to die. Are you? Uh, no. On the one hand, he looks dangerous, but on the other hand, I'm definitely not ready to become a murderer yet. I won't fight you, but stay away from my property here. Ah, I have no use for rotten flesh and old books. Okay. Cool. Right, let's go, go grab the additional iron parts we need. And then we can get into the church basement, which I think is where a lot I left my faith. And then we might be able to convince him. <laughs> Okay, yeah, one of these, please. Probably should make two, but I, 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 I'm aware that he leaves quite quickly come the morning. So let's um, see if we can get through in time. Clear the path. Oh, look at this. We can now access the church area. Yay. Okay, did I? Yes. Let's grab this. Hello, I have the faith to convince you. I have nothing against you. Maybe I can even help you. Hmm. You appear useless, but also harmless. Help me open this gate. I have these instructions, and apparently I need a key. My lock picks won't work. Bring me the key, and we'll talk. Make one or find it. I don't care. Nice. Study the key and open the metal gate. Okay, I need something behind this door too, so I'll try to help. You can take these instructions. Right, okay. Um, we have run out of room in our inventory. But look, I can just hop out here. Walk through here. And I now can access this trunk and pop all the things I made ready for burying some corpses. There we go. Let's grab our instructions. Right, so instructions for the key. Let's have a look. We need to use a keeper's key with this instruction at study table. Okay, do I have the keeper's key? I don't think I do anywhere. Ooh, I wonder where I get that. Okay, I need some more bits. Probably another two graphs for those. So let's grab that and then clear the root out. All right, I have enough items. And hopefully I have enough energy. I just realised I need more wood pegs for the final one. It will be good. Do you know what? I'm going to use this. 
<laughs> hey, there we go. Oh dear. Right. So I need uh wood wedges. Yes, I want one more, please. Ah yes. Also, I've been ignoring Donkey. You look a little tired. Did you sleep well? Oh sod, I miss sleeping so much. Turns out it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. I have to do everything by myself. Hmm. I remember something in old days. The keeper used to have a lot of helpers. They were a lot like me, but without the sense of humour. One of them should still be chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Oh, and one more thing. I don't remember why, but I'm quite sure you should never unchain him. Never. Okay. <laughs> And there we go, final bit of clearing for this little area. I am so excited. Oh, I can get through now to the church from the morgue. Morg. I do want to um, repair all of these up. Oh, there we go. Get that one done. We should get this done as well. But yeah, that can happen in a minute. Oh, it's lovely going around fixing all the things. Hello, donkey. One, two, three, four. Donkey deserves more carrots. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm on strike. What does that mean? It means I'm tired of being oppressed and I'm not bringing you any more corpses. At least not for free. I have a list of demands. First, I demand better working conditions. Grease the wheels for a change. I can't keep listening to the squeak. Second, I need a day off. So no more corpses on... I believe that's Pride Day? Yeah, it is Pride Day. And last but not least, I need better pay from you. Alright. These corpses aren't your property. They're like a natural resource and I want my car. Each new corpse will cost you five carrots in advance. You can place them in a special box here. I'll take the carrots from it. If you refuse, then you can find yourself another donkey. Oh, and there isn't another donkey. Aha! Alright. So I need to get some oil for his uh, wheels. And get... Um, crafting the carrots. Good. Now just put my carrots in the box. Uh, not crafting. Growing. Farming. Which is going to be fantastic. Farm. I was doing something else. Oh yeah, I was, I was fixing all of the bits up. Um, which, you know what, I might just finish. So uh, let's need probably two of those. Oh, I'm going to run out of energy. <laughs> oh dear, energy is the resource that is the pain in the early game. I um I have to say playing it through this time round is kind of interesting because I'm not worried about using items anymore. Like, and so like I just went round and harvested all that stone and yeah, like you get points out of everything. It's actually a lot easier when you're not worried about that and just taking the time. Literally, I think it was only one week, one revolution that I took just to go every sort of stone resource gathering along this road along here and up um just sort of up this way towards the refugee camp just grabbing all the stones that i could and yeah it's very very easy to get all of that stone all right let's um actually i need to grab some stone to fix these hatches and then i need to work out how to get oil because i can't remember um, I need four, I think. So, what this does is it means that once we have um, paid off the donkey, any new corpses will go in the hatch and into the cool cellar so they won't decompose as quickly. Um, they will still decompose if they're left on the floor rather than preparation place, but they will, it's a lot slower in the cool of the cellar. Um, we can, of course, increase pallets and we can have more pallets in here but i'm not going to do that because i think that's kind of a waste but let's see farming is now going to start to become 
interesting or a requirement. Um, wine making, that would be cool. Hmm. Maybe I need to actually unlock the farm. Okay. Um, wheel for your wheels. Hmm. Let's go into town and talk to people, I guess. I mean, how much money do I have? Five silver. If I grab a burial certificate, we'll have a little bit more silver. Now, there's, um, I don't know if I've actually activated this part of the quest. The garden. Property in forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Horadic. All right. Okay. So we need to go speak to Horadik for that. Um, which shouldn't be a problem. Let's grab these items on the way. Bab. Now, if we go south down here, we should run into the farmer. Who will hopefully give us uh, some information about how to grow. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Even if it's drugs or magic elixirs. I'm just looking around. I don't know what's happening, but everyone is telling me that I'm a graveyard keeper. No, I oh. I then you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. Mm. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. Ah, uh, can you tell me about farming? Is there anything special I need to know to be a good farmer? You need to know how to fertilize the soil and be ready to work hard. Honestly, you don't look like much of a farmer. <laughs> You're better off buying from a professional like me. Even somebody like you could cook something nice with my vegetables. Hey! Carrot cutlet, bowl of sauerkraut and beet slices. Fantastic. Right, okay. So technically what we could do is buy our carrots from this um, farmer rather than growing them but carrot seeds are actually cheaper I want some flour uh, wow flour is expensive okay we'll have 10 flour and we'll have now you need four seeds per planting spot so let's get eight and yeah, that would do. Thank you very much, farmer. See you later. <laughs> and uh, let's talk to you, farmer's son. I need to finish my chores or father will be terrifyingly angry. Oh, about the vampire. Yes, I forgot. The vampire. I have some questions for you, child. About the vampire? Do you promise you won't laugh? Uh, yes. <laughs> my father, my uncle, all the neighbours, none of them believe me and they just laugh. I promise I'll be serious. That night, my father and Uncle Miller were drinking Uncle's wheat whiskey. I was home alone and some man came through the window. At first, I thought it was my drunk father. Dad. But he was... But he... It was like he didn't hear me. Interesting. Go on. In a flash, I knew it wasn't Dad, and I hid under my blanket, and he... he... he just went away. Please, don't laugh. Everyone laughs at that part. Don't worry, at 15 years old, I would have been scared too. Thanks a lot, but I'm 22. Oh, do you know what? You're lucky. You look 15 when you're 22, or you're going to love it when you hit 30, and 40, and 50. Oh, fantastic. Still getting ID ID carded, whatever you want to call it when you're when you're older. Oh, it makes you feel good. <laughs> right, okay, so uh why did I come down here? I wanted got me carrot seeds. Oh I need to speak to Friday. About getting the farm. Hello. Um Yes. Found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? <laughs> oh, the garden? It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. <laughs> hmm. I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Oh, hey! Sounds great. Good. We still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. Okay. Now, merchant turns up, I think, on Gluttony Day. 
It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval. It'll be fine if you pro just promise to settle the details with him later. Sure, I'll talk to him. No problem. He comes to trade with the locals every gutsy day. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. Okay. Thank you very much. I do believe I need to talk to you about the vampire as well. You better talk to my husband. He's in charge here. No, we're talking about the vampire. Jane, could you tell me a bit about that vampire? No, I couldn't. I won't say another word until Horridick apologizes for his disgusting behavior. Uh, okay, I'll ask him. Oh dear. These two, they always send you backwards and forwards. Hello? Um, about apologizing to Chain. <laughs> Horridick, Chain asked you to say sorry for your... Me? Say I am sorry? I found my wife's lover in my own bedroom, and it's me who has to say he's sorry. Just picture it, and he looked right through me, right at me, and then jumped through the window. And now she's insisting that she was merely sleeping, and this fellow was a common vampire. Maybe she could be right? Go to her, and inform her that I demand an explanation. No. Oh, okay. Sure, it's a quest. I have to. You better talk about it. Yeah, we know. Ask for an explanation. Ardic demands an explanation. What? An explanation? Go ask him why he was returning home after midnight that day. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry about your family troubles, but do you have anything useful to tell me? I don't know anything. I was asleep. Very well then, have a good day. Wait! The astrologer knows a thing or two about vampires. He says he was once attacked by vampires about 30 years ago. Okay. We, yeah, we need to talk to the astrologer anyway. Right, I do want to trade. And I want to trade... Wipes. We want the pie recipe. There we go. Let's use that. No, let me use it. Thank you very much. And now we can make berry and berry and grape pie. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Now, I do believe there's one other person I needed to talk to about the vampire. So the astrologer. We're looking for the... There we go. Find the vampire. Build a well. Build a tent. Rosa. Okay, I believe she's up this way. I need to get eggs and milk. She might sell me milk. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Ah, berries. Yes, this is Rosa. Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? Oh no, sir. The cows are our friends. We're not like those folks from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. They think they're smarter than us, but I think they're just barbarians. Cool, fair enough. Let's see. Right, um... Do we get a jug of milk? Or a bucket of milk? Uh... Alright. Let's order one. I want to know if my thought process about it is correct. Can I use this to make jugs of milk? Yes. Five. Ooh. Okay, so it's actually better to get this. Um, let's get number five. Oh, okay. It's weird. I don't know which one's cheaper. There we go. Uh, right, about the vampire. Rose, that vampire who attacked you, may I? He drank my blood. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but please, a little bit less loud. <laughs> was it gripping and sinister? I practiced that line for hours. It was fantastic. Yeah, you're the best. Oh, look, she blushed. I like that. So could you tell me what happened? He lured me to the barn by imitating the sounds of a pregnant cow. Then he grabbed me and started drinking my blood. 
almost right away, he just spat it out. It was like he was disgusted. And you know what? If I was even a... It was even a little insulting. If my husband had been home... And what happened after that? He said, B again, group B. It's just like you're all mocking me. And then he ran away. Thank you for your help. I hope uh, your cows have lots of nice calves. Lovely. I like that. So group B, is that like blood group B? Hmm. Fantastic. Alright, so we got some milk. We need a few eggs. I want to get some food on the cook. So eggs are here. Oop. Fresh eggs. Yes. Great omelette and fried eggs. Ooh. Trade. How much is it for ten? Oh, five, even. We'll have all five. Thank you very much. I feel very, very poor now. But there we go. It's all part of the process. Hello, Dig. How you doing? Alright, let's head on over. We should get some apples over here as well. This is the lighthouse area. So, if you see, we now have this log, um, fog of war uncovered. And um, all of these can be harvested for apples. Um, but only if they've got little two apples underneath them. Otherwise, they're not ready. They're not ripe enough. And here we are. Hello, astrologer. Hi. Are you the astrologer? Sure. I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul instead of well. I'm the new graveyard keeper. And it seems I need your help. Everyone needs something except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. <laughs> Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. It's quiet. Yes. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid inquisitor's law? Okay. The talking one, Jerry, he's kind of my friend. I don't think it'd be appropriate. No, just a simple skull from any old dead body. Okay, so we need his help. And this is about the running with vampires. Okay, so we need 10 points to be able to ask him for his help. Which I do know is what I need for, um, for Snake, for the key. So, I need to get... The, the bodies online. Oh dear. Right. Let's uh, use this. Head home. Actually, whilst we're here, let's see about crafting stuff. So we want pastry dough. How many can I make? Ooh. 20. Nice. I think we want pastry dough. Or the berry pines. That would make sense to me. And then we need berry juice. Okay, we can make two berry juices. <laughs> oh dear. Not much. Better than nothing though, eh? Hey? Okay, let's drop off that and the pastry. And now we should have berry pies. There we go. Oh, two of those. Craft away. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have the ability now plant things I didn't find oil oh yeah claim property um an empty garden bed uh sure right there do oh yeah I did get two didn't I um, let's build that as well so that we can have the two lots of carrots going. Not that that will matter until I can find some oil. Okay, let me go look where that can be found. And apparently oil is found from dig, which is the quickest way to dig, I think, is go to the lighthouse and then um, wander over. And... 
There he is. Hello, Dig. How you doing? This guy must be crazy. Nope. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. Exactly, Dig. And I know what truly matters. What? Eh? Do you think he can understand? No, Dig, he won't. Because he can't see. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only things that matter are peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. Okay, will do. Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig I am, am I? I love dig. Okay, seed oil. Yes, I will have one please. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, there we go. And away to home we go. Oh, our pies are done. Four pies. Oh, that's actually not bad. Two per. Right, much better than the um, bread. As long as you have the apples, of course. Which we can grow down here. Definitely something to do in the future. Hello, donkey. I got some oil. Great. Finally, I'll get a little peace and quiet, and I'll be able to think about my theories and ways to fight for what's right. I already have the wolf rats on my side. Good for you. No carrots, no body. All right. Uh oh. Yeah, dear. Let's see if I can get. So I need ten carrots. I don't know if I'll be able to afford them. Hello, farmer. Ten carrots, please. Oh, I can just. Ow, it's been an expensive episode. Oh. Oh, well, we'll be able to earn money back. It's not a problem. Then we go, we'll be able to earn money from the church, the tavern, probably the refugee camp, probably um, from the merchant, of course. Oh, yeah, we're going to be swimming in money at some point in the future. Just not right now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Craft. See, that wasn't so hard. Aha, uh -huh. but this is only the beginning. Do you really need to do that here? Yes, I do. And what right do you have to complain? This isn't your road anyway. Enjoy my manifest. I used to think you're a nice donkey. I am, but not for you. Okay, what did he do there that was such a problem? He would absolutely fine. And here's my corpse. Oh, no, no durability. No. Gone offness. Whatever. Um, right. Let's grab it. Eek. Taking out a skull. That adds another red skull, by the way, if you want to understand what it would do. Um, we'll leave that body there for the moment. Do we have enough faith to study it? Actually, do you know what? We want to... We want to get over to Lighthouse C. Oh, he's gone. Ah, oh, dear. All right, we need three more benches, which is 12, 18, and three crafts. No, two crafts of nails, which is not bad. Let's get that sorted before we move forward. Hello, Bishop. How you doing? Oh, hello, Donkey. <laughs> dear Comrade. <laughs> It is my assignment to inform you, in a plenary meeting, made the decision. Okay. Sorry, Eco who? The executive committee of the variety of donkeys proletariat. Well, I can't pronounce anything. You are addressing as general secretary, by the way. Ah, oh, okay. That explains everything. <laughs> so, the Eco has decided to give you one last chance to rehabilitate yourself in the eyes of enlightened labour. Okay. Well, thanks. Yep, I, I agree with that. Thank you. Our party has reached the phase of active preparation for revolutionary upheaval, and your role will be key. Ah, and if I refuse? Then we'll burn, burn down your home, graveyard, garden, and church. And worst of all, you'll be publicly rep reprimanded placed on the party's blacklist. All right, well, we're saying yes then. <laughs> we're glad you've agreed to help. Now come closer and listen carefully. 
<laughs> As you realise this is all top secret, we'll communicate by notes. Notes? And how are you going to write notes? Those who know less sleep better. Okay. Right. No less. Sleep better. And I wouldn't recommend spelling them. Ah, okay. Boop. First, prepare and send to our post office a cookbook for our friend, the Rat Chief. He loves cuisine, and the success of the revolution will be impossible without the rat's help. Second, send to our post office five red apples to raise the morale of the oppressed donkey commune. You must... Wait, I have no way to send all this stuff to Screepy. You said this was top secret. Therefore... Therefore, it's your responsibility to create and install a special box for contraband. You'll be stuffing all the contraband inside the box. And then I or other party members will take them away under cover of night. But don't worry, you'll manage it. I believe in you. Good luck, tails crossed. Okay, did you? Ooh. You've unlocked a new technology and got Create Cookbook. 50 ways to cook ratatouille with vegetables and cats. Ooh. Okay, create and install the box. Oh, I guess that's there. Fair enough. Um, no, I didn't get another body. I heard the ding. I was like, did he drop off a body for free? That would be cool. Alright, hello, Bishop. Uh, before we continue, let's see. I think you need to be repaired. I made lots of stone um, repair stuff as well, so we can get these guys repaired. There we go. Fabulous. Oh, no, one more. Ah, oh, it looks so much better now. Whee! Okay, right, do I have all of the items I needed? The church fences. Benches, even. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Quick! I'll be back in a flash. And there we go, the final church bench. Fantastic, we have quality of 11. Which means I've got a guaranteed 100% um, uh, work. Yeah, and 10 needed to guarantee a successful ceremony. So let's do it. Come on in, guys. Look, I made extra seats for you. I'd like to say a few words. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Our church is great. It's even better than it was last week. And now let us pray, pray for this blessing. Hey, I got free last time, didn't I? How rude. Okay, nice. Hey. Hey, you got four. That's not bad. Your donations are welcome. Great sermon. Oh, they love me. Oh, faithful. I love it. It's also great because they're also spending lots of money with Hordek as well. So he has money in, in his offers. So he will be able to purchase more from me which is definitely worthwhile getting right let's drop off this and this and oh we have not managed to complete what i wanted to oh such a shame we did manage to get quite a lot done um i'm quite pleased with so far where we are at let's see let's check on our oh, carrots still teeth work <laughs> We need to obviously get the um, various other technologies that are missing. Here we go. So now we can do a garden bed with sticks and a trunk. Yes. Right. Let's get some technology before we head off. Um, blueprint trunk and the garden bed with sticks. Yes, please. We can also do a prayer for shoots and roots. Um, 10 to 30 need to guarantee a successful ceremony. A few words about the importance of agriculture, fertilization, personal hygiene. Sermon money plus 25, sermon pay plus 25. Um, that seems cool, but I'm not going to worry about it. Ah, yes, we need the peat. Let's get that. And simple fertilizer. Ooh, that might be working early on. We do need to get the church workbench down. Do we have that yet? Um, there's the desk, which I think we've created. What about the workbench? 
Also, we probably should do this one. You notice the little things about people. Put these things together and you'll have a story. Sometimes you can get stories from dialogues. It's worth getting that quite early on, just purely because you do um, need it for all of the prayers. You need stories. Um, getting the cremation area would be worthwhile doing. I was looking for the church desk. Um, yeah, let's get the cremation area because we can then cremate bodies that we don't like. Um, important parts. That's worth doing at some point soon. I do want to actually get more farming things, I think. Okay, see, saving up simple fertilizers is probably worthwhile doing. Beekeeping, transplanting. See, this might be good. Okay, let's have a look in smithing. Weapons would be great. We have the advanced tools, so we should make those in the next episode. Building. Hmm. New. And quickly. Alright, so I don't think there's anything we need. Um, from here. No, I think we can hold off for a little while on, on this one. On the building tab. Smithing tab, probably worthwhile getting the glass going at some point soon. And steel. Oh, yes, especially for the water pump in, in here. That would be great. Um, but realistically, I guess I want to save. Hmm. No, let's get the grape. No. We'll save for the fertilizers next. That 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 is definitely worthwhile doing. I can't find this church desk. Maybe I'm just being silly, and it's actually already unlocked. Let's go quickly have a nose. Um, church workbench. Ah, there we go. It is unlocked. So I need to get that built as well. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below and let me know um, anything you want to see. Any tips and tricks. Obviously no outright spoilers, please. Guys, but yeah, if you just sort of go, well, maybe it would be good if you went this direction. That would be perfect. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Ah, I'm so refreshed.